All right, YouTube. Yeah, I ain't in the junkyard today, man. Trying to get these brakes off this blazer right here. I think it's a two-wheel drive blazer. Hoping so, which y'all think, man. Might have to get up under there and make sure. I think it's a two-wheel drive blazer. I can't really tell. Damn. You know what I'm saying, but. I had to get these calipers off, man. Rear calipers and the backing plates. But right now, I'm looking for a car mat. Yeah, I can lay on. Tap back in with y'all in a minute, man. Let me find me a goddamn mat, man. All right, y'all. I think this is two-wheel drive. You only see one drive shot, goddamn, so. Go ahead and get to it. All right, y'all. Go ahead and get the tire off real quick. Make sure the e-brake on, huh? Mm. Yeah, it look like they snatched the e-brake up out of this bitch. Damn. Come on, man. I don't know, y'all. I might not be able to get this one. I ain't trying to waste my time, you feel me? All right, hold on. Let's figure something out. I'll be back in a second. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and take these off. Um... I'm gonna have the chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get the warranty and worst case scenario, if these don't work, I just have to bring them back, or I just order some off eBay. But I'm pretty sure they'll work. They should work if they seize up. Like I said, I just have to bring them back. I need to put them on the car and test them before the warranty end. Um, but the the piston just compressed super easy. The boot ain't tore up or nothing like that. So the brake, the uh, e-brakes is on and there's no release on it. So I can't release the e-brakes, but they didn't cut the front brakes off anyway. So it ain't no fluid in here. They probably didn't all leaked out. That's why the piston ain't popping back out. But I just go home, put some compressed air in there, make sure it pop out. And if it do, then we should be straight. So I'm going ahead and try to knock these off real quick. And I'm going to tap back in with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. Well, good news and bad news. Uh, good news is I got the calipers off. And they look pretty good. Um, I hope they ain't seized up. These are cleaned up pretty nice. Um, got the hardware. Got the hardware like 87 SA boy saying keep keep all the hardware. Got the hoses. Um the e-brakes is on, so and some dumbass done ripped the fucking e-brake control out of here so as you can see it's stuck to the floor so i'm not gonna be out here banging these off i'm just gonna go to another blazer that's free and snatch those off um i think i seen one over there with a caliper already off so probably just have to do that so i'm gonna clean up my shit go set up shop over there real quick man i'll tap back in with y'all when i get over there hey, all right, as you can see my fucking e-brake ain't on E-brake not on. Both sides spin. So all I gotta do with this one is take that caliper off and then knock this cover off. So I can get the axles off and dig me a little hole right here so all that fluid will fall in that motherfucker. You feel me? Oh, look at that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Got it right there. Put them right there. Hmm. Well, I gotta take the caliper off real quick, so. Yes, sir. You shit at the junkyard, baby, so let me knock this out real quick. Last boat off as of right now, so next I turn if it's just sway bar and just pry this shit back. Ain't got time to be fuck around all day.
I got some on though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I right, know. Pop these axles up. Now, I tap that camera saw when I get this shit out, man. See, really, all the hardest part about taking these brakes off is this e brake shit, bro. Got to get that shit off. So, I just break these tabs right here. Then this pop out. It's kind of easier to pop out, but break these little tabs, then it pop out. You can pull, push this back, and then it'll come off. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna get up out of here. All right, YouTube. Shit, man, we didn't knock it out, bro. I got the backing plates with the hardware. Both of them. Got both calipers and brake lines. Um, I'm gonna go pay for this stuff, and then when I get to the crib, I'll just give y'all a quick little post junkyard interview type shit you know so yeah man i'll tap back in with y'all in a minute all right y'all got the brakes man got the rear brakes got the calipers and the brackets and i got the backing plates so uh my rotors and pads supposed to come in tomorrow um so probably the next video, I'm going to be installing the proportionate valve. Oh, my hose is supposed to come tomorrow, too, with my hard lines. I ordered some some new hard lines from inline, too. So when I get those in, that'll be a part of the next video. I'm not going to clean these up yet because I want to make sure they work first. So I have to put the proportionate valve on, put the new hard lines on. Then I can start installing the backing plates getting these on, bleeding the brakes, testing them out, make sure they work. Um, so, that'll probably be the end of this week's video. Probably on Sunday, I'll probably upload again. I'm gonna try to get this out today for y'all, or probably tomorrow on Monday. But I ain't gonna clean nothing up right now. Just make sure everything worked first, then we'll take everything back off and get everything cleaned up and painted up. Uh, y'all let me know what color y'all think I should paint these. Should I paint them red? Should I paint them black or silver? Y'all let me know. But that's it for this video, man. Uh, let me know if y'all like that, that footage that I gave y'all today. It wasn't on how to, but it was just some, just some extra footage, man. I feel like I should throw in for y'all from time to time. Show y'all that I do do the work, take stuff off myself, and do most of this stuff myself. Well, I do everything myself. I can't say most of it, but um, I paid $87 for these, and it was really could have been cheaper if I would have had a core and if I would have took these off because he charged these shoes as pads, and I think the pads is like $3 a piece, so three times two is $6, so I paid 87 like I said, it could have been cheaper. They didn't charge me for the hoses, but they charged me for these. So, yeah, man. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what color y'all think I should paint these. Black, silver, or red. Shit, stay tuned for the next video, man. It's your boy, One Tony Stunts. I'm out.